It was a bittersweet day for students and staff here at Harrison High School in Farmington Hills. When the bell rang, their summer started, but it also marked the end of an era. After nearly half a century, the school has now closed for good. I was there as they said goodbye to the place that holds so many memories. Selfies, <laughs> hugs, and some tears filled the hallways on this last day of school ever here at Harrison High. Thank you, sweetheart. Aww. In its 49 years, thousands of students have graduated from here, but now the doors are shutting for good. Harrison is not um, just a job. It's a family. Troy Abner is an English teacher. She's taught here for 15 years. The years, the memories, the students, the staff, it's just really hard to say goodbye. School officials say declining enrollment is why Harrison High had to close. Many amazing students have come through here over the years. Great staff that are dedicated, nice community. So it's bittersweet to see it end. Um, it makes sense that we have to close with all the reductions, but it's just very sad. Most of the students and staff will be transferring to one of the other two high schools in the district, North Farmington or Farmington. Well, I think it's going to be hard for everyone, and for me it'll be hard because I'm not used to it, and there's a lot more students, it's a bigger environment, but I think change can be good sometimes. Myself, I'm retiring, and I'm going to a new chapter of my life, so it's a little more bittersweet for me because I won't be able to see the kids uh, like the other teachers may. We knew this was coming, so we've been preparing for it, but then when it actually happens, emotions got the best of me when I saw some of my students. Students were given t-shirts reminding them to soar on, and this building itself has its own new future. It will be transformed into a community center. Yeah, I think it's very important because we can always come back when it's a rec center. We can relive our memories that we had here as high school students. Memories these students and staff say they'll carry with them no matter where they go. And we certainly wish them all well. As for that new community center, the city expects it will open in the fall of 2020.